first and foremost, I do not see anything wrong with the way President Muhammadu Buhari has gone on his leave. He informed us, he informed the parliament that he was going on a 10-day leave. During that leave, he will visit his doctors. That is correct, because he doesn't want to use our time, that is the state's time, to attend to himself. But along the line, it's like his doctors discovered that he needed more than a few days to attend to this life because some tests were carried out, he needed the result. There's nothing wrong for him to ask for extension of time so that he will be able to get result of the test carried out by his doctors. We don't want a situation whereby he will come back after 10 days and a few days earlier, I mean later, his doctor will call him back that he needed certain treatment for whatever they have discovered from the test they carry out. So it is a good thing that he has also written to hand over power to the vice president to become acting president without much ado. It is also good that he didn't want to waste time and energy and resources in coming back and going to attend to uh, issues of his health. It is not strange that people of his age we face certain health challenges. We knew that everybody of such age, even those who are younger, still have old age issues to attend to. So basically that should not surprise anybody. But governance is not stopping. Governance is not at standstill. The acting, gov uh, the acting president has been holding forth in a qualitative manner. He has been able to harness the opportunities that are available to move the country forward. The country is not stagnant. It was unlike what happened in the Yaradua days when nobody knew what was happening. This is a system where the acting president took charge of the governance and nothing was, I mean, was missing by the absence of the president. So at the level of our coalitions, we don't have any problem with that. Now, talking about a uh, uh, situation whereby people think that uh, gov uh, the president should perpetually speak to them, even when he has confessed that he's attending to himself, is a statement of unfairness. We should allow him to take his time as long as the acting president is holding forth. If you must eat, you know, in your home, you have to source for the uh, raw food, you have to prepare it, you have to cook it. It has to be done before you can eat it. Now, the healthcare system in Nigeria has been destroyed over the years. You cannot build all the structure and get all the equipment and all the personnel overnight. So the situation that the Buhari regime met on the ground does not guarantee adequate health care delivery for the kind of ailments that could have been plaguing him, especially the ailments that, is, uh, that accompany the uh, movement from active ages, that is useful ages to old ages. So even if he's putting things in place, they cannot be ready for use overnight. If a house is dilapidated and you have to rehabilitate it, you cannot live in that house when you are rehabilitating. That does not mean you are not spending money rightly. Okay? That, uh, uh, that you strike, you, that the, the, the rock is broken by the last blow of the sledgehammer doesn't mean that the first blow is useless. As long as you are moving in the right direction, but you cannot insist that the healthcare facilities that is yet to be procured for the country, the personnel that has yet to be recruited for the country, the equipment that are supposed to be in our hospitals should be uh, should be what our president will wait for before he take care of his health. That would be a fair statement. Let him take care of his health, but let him take care of our healthcare facilities in the country. It is not yet ready for anybody to assess 
for qualitative healthcare system yet in Nigeria. If there are some protests that are really not yet necessary. If we did uh, a kind of uh, dispassionate analysis, not uh, a kind of uh, analysis that is based on party politics, we know that the degenerate, the degeneracy of our system didn't occur overnight. And there are certain things that we should realize that it is not the same party that was running before that is still running. So you have to change all the personnel. Some of the personnel are not so sincere. You cannot predict who is not going to sincere once you have tested them. During that exper experimentation, you need to observe some hiccups in governance. That hiccups is what we are experiencing. Some of those that you are testing, even if you are employing somebody into your company, there is a period you call probationary period. During that period, if the fellow is only good theoretically and cannot practice, you will discover. Now, that is the period we are can be likened to a probationary period. Most of those who are working with the president are people that he had not worked with before. It is not possible you know who is sincere, who is not from a distance. Now, he has said that he's going to uh, reorganize his cabinet. Let us wait for him to reorganize. What we should be doing, why we protest, is to suggest new hands that can be put on the floor. Not that we will condemn blanketly without suggesting a credible alternative.